Would you pay $25 for this? This is the going retail rate at Walmart, Meyer, and I believe Target. Let's see if it's worth it. All right, guys, here it is, the 21st of January. Got some heritage there. Meyer, uh, you can see they did do a restock here. Not a lot of stuff, but they do have some. So there you go, a little restock on the 21st of January. Hey everyone, it's at North Collectors here. We are doing another retail hunt video. That's right, in front of you, you see some of the things that we got from our retail hunt. We also picked up some Topps Holiday uh, Mega Boxes as well. But in this break, we're going to show you the 2020 Topps Heritage High Number Hanger Boxes. That's all they had. They didn't have any blasters or uh, value packs. And also, we have a Hoops um, Blaster Box as well, the premium stock. So we found that, and there was a little tiny bit of Prism Football. We didn't get that. Our friend got that one. Um, and there was uh, definitely some hoops at some stores at the Walmart that you saw in the picture of. There wasn't that much um, of the video that you saw in the beginning. Uh, the Meyer we went to was all out of it. And the second Meyer we went to, which we didn't get on camera, uh, had more uh, hoops. So the hoops was in... Um, large supply uh, but other stuff was definitely not so these heritage high numbers uh boxes run 25 dollars. so we'll see uh definitely a significant price increase from the previous ten dollars let's look at the odds and all that i already showed all okay. that we were, well we were i was jabbing, jabbing away yeah so 25 bucks which they oh. used to be ten dollars we do get hobby packs so interesting okay so hobby packs interesting that's definitely something that's not advertised on the front, so. Now somebody um, on Instagram told us that they thought they were hobby packs, so they indeed are right. There's nothing on the box that indicates that, which is kind of unfortunate for collectors. Not for collectors, more so for tops. Um, <laughs> if they're gonna try to sell this stuff at 25 bucks, pretty poor marketing to not say, yeah. especially when you have such a, obviously getting hobby packs at, at a retail store is, not common so advertising that would be helpful for them yeah I, d I looked over the box pretty well and i didn't see anything about hobby packs so that does make quite a big difference um if you're paying 25 dollars for three retail packs be a little different still is a little overpriced <clears throat> but not horribly i guess i mean heritage hobby packs are what like five I'll bucks probably five bucks. so like that's 10, a good 15. a good ten dollars over what you would normally pay it's still quite expensive. It is, but not as much as I was thinking as if it were to be all retail packs. That would be right. very expensive. Right. The The problem is is that you get, um, for $25, you get three packs, okay? Now, you can buy hobby boxes, at least you could buy them, around $100. So, do the math. Yeah, do the math. Doesn't really add up. No. Um, but... It is better than charging $25 for three uh, retail packs. But this set is one that, in general, I would stay away from just because of the rookie class, pretty much. There's, like, no one in here besides Robert. Yeah. Um, and is a Rosarine in here? I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. Um, but that price, 25 bucks, is not as bad as I thought it was with the three retail packs in there. Um, but the hobby packs makes it slightly better, but still, I mean, really you're looking in between 12 to $15 in value. So I would probably stay away from those. However, in the long run, they could be, you know, not a terrible investment. If all of a sudden six guys <coughs> pop out of here and are magical. Right. Let's um, just think about it though, from a sticker shock, sticker shock standpoint, if you got to the store and you're going to buy a hanger box like we were, and you paid you went to the cash register and ring, rings up at $25. Just like us, we thought, what is wrong with the you know the pricing here? You don't realize there's hobby packs in there. And then you're paying more than double. It's a 125% increase from what they were before. Yes. So that that's is, crazy. 
it is crazy and but i think you're gonna see it more and more with retail obviously if if i was a business owner a manufacturer and i saw that the hoops premium boxes were selling for two to three x on the secondary marketplace right. i would probably upcharge the my distributors that are you know distributing the product to the public probably upcharge them significantly and then they would in turn upcharge the consumer so I think you'll probably see that more and more, which might make some people unhappy, but it should help with some of the scalping because um, scalpers aren't really going to want to go into, you know, if you're they charge 40 bucks for something like this, and there's 10 boxes, that's 400 bucks just for 10 boxes of right. that stuff. You know? right. And right. will people pay more than that? Sure, but you're not going to make nearly as much money on your investment. So Right, and then the question is, will the average collector buy it because it's so much more expensive? That's that's probably the you know the big question, but time will tell. And there's definitely got to be a somewhat of an increase in these products, but 125 percent is a little extreme, especially well, when they don't label on the box that there's hobby packs yeah, inside. Yeah, that's the, that's the issue. But so, the, the other thing is too is it's heritage. If they're gonna upcharge right, the product, right. heritage is probably not, not the one I would start with. Well, not only that, but it's heritage high number from last year, and the checklist is not good. Correct. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Is that it'd be not be right. the product to start your upcharging campaign with if I were tops mm -mm. to make a. Uh, but twenty five dollars is a ton of money. Um, you know, obviously, I wonder what the if the blasters are twenty bucks, then that's kind of crazy. These will just sit on the shelf. Right. Um, if the blasters are thirty or thirty five, that could be quite interesting. Uh, Aaron Gordon Green. My guess is that they're trying to experiment with a product that's kind of exactly mm, so they can see exactly. how it, how if people still buy it, you know. I I think it is. I think it's an experiment. Um, I think it definitely has merit at least to some regard as far as trying to test the waters and trying to see if you can stop the flippers. I know people commented on Instagram and on Twitter that they were going to take the whole you know bin or the whole tray. Uh, and then they realized they're 25 bucks a piece. They went and brought them back. So, um, you know, we'll see. But yeah, which isn't. I mean, that's probably their goal. I would uh, guess so. But economically, it doesn't make sense to buy it product-wise at 25 dollars for 15 to 12 dollars in packs, depending right. on you know what hobby shop you go to. You might as well just go buy a hobby box. Exactly. I mean, and get the guaranteed uh, hit in there as well as, you know, the better odds. So well, if you're paying 100 bucks for a hobby box, you're getting, you know, half of the packs if you buy the hanger boxes for that price for 100 bucks. Very true. Well, let us know um, if you guys found any heritage. Did you find any hoops this week? Uh, this is the 20, what is it, 22nd Second today? today yeah. 22nd of January. And uh, we bought this uh, blaster at Walmart, and the the price at Walmart, of course, is uh, twenty bucks for a blaster. Um, and very happy to find some Jordan uh, McLaughlin, and then a Malik Monk silver. Um, we opened up some of this off camera yesterday, and it is a blast, isn't it? Um, it's a lot of fun. I definitely wasn't expecting it to be this fun, honestly. And then start opening more and more of it. And it's been very, very enjoyable. Kind of like a prism or an optic. So Yeah, definitely. Cool. So Romeo Langford rookie and Nico Melli. So not the rookie we're looking for, but these are really nice looking cards. The red parallels are not numbered. Um, They're the cool. I like the reds. All right, so that was an okay blaster box. The blaster boxes really in general are probably the worst, I would say. Um, not they're not Not that they're not. Um, you know, can't be good at times, but uh, if you had a choice, I'd pick up the hanger boxes or the um, what are they called? The cello packs. Yeah, uh, those seem to be a little bit better for the money. We have hit good stuff out of blasters, but overall, um, the other ones seem to be a little more fun. All right, our last hanger box. Let's see if we can get anything out of this of heritage high number thanks again for watching hopefully you enjoy these retail hunt videos uh, if you do please hit that thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already we're going to be posting more of these in the near future whether we have empty shelves or full shelves do we have a, a, a open box of heritage high number hobby somewhere that we use for random packs at all um 
Because I was going to compare the pack odds. Yeah, we do. Sure the we same. do right up there. Yep. Because that could be rather interesting. So I think there's a relic in here. Jalen Davis. And then... Maybe patch auto. Nope. It's a Franklin Barreto game used memorabilia. So that is what you would get in a hobby box. Obviously, the hit out of the hobby box is generally a relic, sometimes an autograph, but those are usually one or probably like four or five boxes in a in a case of a Heritage High Number. So we'll, we're going to check the pack odds to see how they compare to they should be identical. hobby. Yep, they should be identical. Because they are hobby packs, so they shouldn't be any different. These cards are coming out a little bit dinged up, which has been a common complaint with this set. Farmer. Yeah, they're identical. Which is good. That's Drew Pomerantz. Uh, is set, anything over 700 is a high number, right? Correct. So Drew Pomerantz is our short print there. And then Daniel Hudson and Barreto. So we did get that one hit out of the, the box, but... Once again, I would highly advise buying a hobby box versus buying these hangers. You get way more for your money, um, and I just think it is a pretty tough sell. And I, I wonder, I just kind of wonder what, why they did this this way. And this is a, is this just a one-time deal or is this just a trial? Um, interesting to find out. So we got a insert here of the 1971 World Series highlights. And just checking the backs, these making sure they didn't miss anything. Well, they um, have done some of this before where tops, and they, I can't remember them doing it with baseball, at least when we opened baseball. But with football, they did put hobby packs in a retail format. Yeah, like a mega box. Yep. Not even, a, no, not a mega. They used to do um, like the blister hanger box packs, like with Topps Chrome Mini that one year. Um, they did it with. Top's finest football in 2015. True, yep, they did. And yep. they would charge, it was like 15, 20 bucks at the store. So that yep. could be, you know, kind of what they're Maybe doing. Maybe what they're doing. This. Yeah, they just need to put hobby on there. Yeah, they do. That's a bit of an issue. Because I don't see it anywhere. Nope. Let me know if you do. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Let us know, would you buy these for 25 bucks? Um, what did you find in your retail stores? Did you find anything? And if so, what did you pick up? What did you pull? We'd love to hear from you. Hopefully, you're doing well. I think in our next um, video that we do of uh, these hobby, or excuse me, hobby, the retail hunt videos, we will do some kind of a giveaway because we have found a, a fair amount of retail. So let's give some back. So stay tuned for that in the next uh, uh, break that we do in our retail hunt series. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.